<coughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video uh, and another awkward intro, but no, for real, today we have an important video, so make sure you guys listen up, okay, you guys listen up. Today we're going to be testing out and seeing if Benjamin Mendy is the best left back in the Premier League. That is very simply uh, the, the situation, that's the current situation that's going on today, um, and that's what we're going to be doing. Thank you guys for the support on all the videos recently. I wanted to tell you at the beginning of this video, we have reviews on Pogba, Richarlison, St. Juste, and Rashford for the last four days on the channel. If you guys are interested in that, go check it out. Reviewed all of them. Check it out. So today, guys, we are going to be reviewing Benjamin Mendy. Now, I wanted to make a quick announcement to my family over in Germany. Okay, my German family, the Deutschland. Um... Guys, the objective in German is that you have to right, win the games. Um, you don't have to win the games. So I know there's probably only 10% of this video, people watch this video, they're German. But maybe probably less. But you don't have to win the games. You just have to assist using a Premier League defender in six separate rivals matches. To do this objective, guys, really I would be using like left back Salah. You know, I think you could do the whole switching game. So get a player that's in the defense in the Premier League that you can kind of move up. But anyways, this card is very important to me because it links with a lot of players. And it's a, it's a potential for a best EPL left back. Now, before we get into the video, this is the squad we're going to be using, okay? But it's not important right now, okay? Before I get into the video, I want to talk about the squad with you guys, okay? We're going we're gonna to show you guys right now the competition that they have at EPL left back. I want to show you guys and walk you guys through the other EPL left backs that are, that are up for grabs. So, um, the other EPL left backs right now in this game, we're going to go to concepts, just so you guys can see the other left backs in this game, you've got team of the season Robertson, you've obviously got Mendy, uh, who we've unlocked, uh, thank you so much EA for getting rid of my left backs, I really, really, really do appreciate that, um, other than that, you've got the left backs a lot, you've got Alonso, uh, you've got Digne, so you've got, all oh my god, EA Sports, EA Sports, EA Sports, EA Sports, EA Sports, so then you've got Digne as well, uh, and really, I would not put Baines in that category. Let me just double check the left wing back position because there's always a player that goes missing usually uh, in that position. But I don't think there's any good left wing backs. You have nobody, Kalisinak. So this is his competition. His top competitor, in my opinion, is probably Alonso. Robertson is good. The problem with Robertson in this game is that he's got the 72 jumping. So he does get killed at the back post. Um, and then the problem with Alonso is that he is a little clunky with the 74 agility and 67 balance. But going forward, Alonso has better op options because he has better passing. And he's got a lot better finishing, in my opinion. His finishing is a way better on Alonso's card. So that's our competition today. And I just kind of wanted to talk about it. So that's why when you guys see this title today, yes, it is going to be a title where we have um, the best... Uh, the best potential left back in the prem because I do think he competes. Now, we're going to be using him in this squad. And to talk about the player, he's high medium, um, which is decent. It's it's a pretty standard work rate for a left back. There's not, you won't see too many other work rates. That's pretty standard, guys. Nothing really that special there. Um, six foot one, three star, three star. So that's not bad. At least he's got the three star, not the two star because sometimes the two star weak foot is very eh. Um, the traits that he possesses, he's got injury prone and early crosser. So early crosser is a nice trait, which means he's going to be able to, if you do the triple tap uh, square or the R1 square, play those nice balls in behind or like whipped around. But the injury prone trait is not great. I think Gareth Bale has that trait. I'm not positive, but here we go. 92 pace, 90 dribbling, 92 defending, 89 physical, 88 passing. 65 shooting is not the best. There's a problem with this card in terms of the shooting, and this is why he may not be the best EPL left back. He has 42 finishing. That's not great. 42 finishing is very disgustingly bad for a uh, for a, a fullback. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, "Well, Nick, he's a fullback. I don't, I, you know, I don't need that stat." Well, what I'm here to tell you guys today is that the way modern football works and the way that this game works with the AI, it's very important to have overlapping fullbacks, fullbacks that can get forward. So I do value that stat a lot, and I don't love that. However, there is a compensation for that stat, which is the 99 shot power with the 82 long shots. I'm pretty sure from outside the box. If the long shot stat is high, the finishing stat doesn't matter as much. I'm pretty sure I'm not positive. Acceleration 87, not the best. Would want it to be 96 instead of the 96 sprint speed and the 87 to go to the sprint speed. However, it's not terrible. Love the attack positioning. Um, love the 99 crossing. Love the short passing. Love the curve. Agility balance is decent. Okay, it's decent. The agility balance is decent. Defensive stats are all very good. Physical stats are all very good. He's got all the physical stats you're going to need. 91 stamina, good jumping, good strength, good aggression, good stand tackling, good slide tackling, good marking. So he's got a lot of those good stats um, in his card. Now, what we're going to be doing for a chemistry style today, I'm going to play an anchor on him. I feel like an anchor because the finishing is already so low. We don't need to increase that. Now, I don't love, obviously, 
um, the agility balance at 80. But it's not bad. It's not bad for a left back. So we're going to run that anchor on him, guys. We're going to have him um, be that kind of player. Now, what I think I'm going to do with this video is I think I'm going to play a 3-5-2. Um, I want to play a 3-5-2. And the reason why I want to play a 3-5-2 with him, guys, is I want to try him out at the left mid position. I want to see how he does in-game at the left mid. Because what I really want to test with this card um, is I want to test how he is going forward. Now, I know he's not going to be able to finish. That's something I already know. But I think the left mid in the 3-5-2 gives you a lot of opportunities for a player to show his defensive capabilities, but also um, show what he can do kind of going forward. And because Mendy is going to be utilized um, for a lot of you guys, I believe at least he will be utilized um, in a way where, um, you know, he may be trying to get balls in behind for you, a lot of you guys. So in terms of the instructions that we'll rock with, guys, we'll get the, we'll get the strikers on getting behind. I'm going to play Paul Pog by Cam. Um, we'll have these guys cover center in the middle. We'll have Vieira cover center. We'll have Vieira stay back as well. What we're going to do, and these are my, these are my special instructions for my right mid, left mids. If you guys want them, um, these are them. I like to do this with them. I like to do, uh, get in behind, come back on defense and stay wide. So what that's going to do is players going to go not not drift inwards and then they're going to come back on defense. And obviously we, we're going to want Ben Manny to go into that. So guys, we're going to be heading into a game now and uh, let's see what happens. Boys, we have an opponent. Wow. Look at those reds. Actually, his reds are not that good, but let's see what happens, boys. Let's see what happens. I, I really want, I'm very curious to see this card left mid. I really want to know if he's good there because... It looks good. Let's get it. Ben Mendy with the pace. Oh boy. Today's starting lineup for the oh boy. He's got the burners on him too. So yeah, we're going to be able to test both things, guys. His ability to get back. Um, his going forward. And this is how the manager of the visiting team wants to go today. He's starting 11. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3. Nice strength there. Nice strength against Eusebio there to get out like that, boys. Be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensively. Great play from Mendy, man. Let's go! Let's go. We get off to an early start, boys. We get an early goal. A deserved goal. We broke him down really nicely. Mendy set up the play to Pogba. Very, very nice play. Benjamin Mendy. Here's your passing is definitely intact. Guys, I know some of you guys make fun of me when I say good passing, but to be honest, boys, that was, that was a nice run. To be honest, guys, passing in FIFA 19 is trash. So when I see players completing passes, it does make me happy. Oh, holy, it's no. Dude, this guy's fast, man. Great play. He's fast on the wing, too. This is Eusebio. I really, I personally, guys, I really like this card. So far, I am loving it. It's been early, but I, st I really like it. Wow. How did he score that? I don't know. Neuer, what the hell, man? Rude Hyatt. Love towards Vieira. And it's Pogba working the ball around, working the opposition around. Pogba! No way that gets saved! No way that gets saved, bro. I'm done, man. That should not be a save, man. Fold in the game. Now Khalid. Mendy. Great ball for Mendy, man. That's a pen. No way, EA. Come on, EA. I feel like that's totally a pen. It was a penalty. I'm not sure it was, though. Yes, dude. Get your croquetas, dude. Get your croquetas. To find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. Superb individual skill. Oh, see you later. Well, they've gone and won the ball in the middle of the field with some high-pressure play. Move your keeper. All right, move it. Just move your keeper, bro. Okay. I know you think I'm taking a first-time shot there, but I'm not. All right, I'm playing some footy. <laughs> this man's keeper, guys. Look at this man's keeper. He thought I was taking that first-time shot. Oh no, man, he was wrong. All right, guys. Good first half. 
Honestly, I do really like him. Very, very good um, at getting forward. And, and I'm more testing him at left mid so we can kind of test the runs back and forth that he makes. And they are very good. This might be an opportunity to get level. And it is. There's the equalizer. And that could be a turning point in the game. Yeah, the momentum must be with them now. Better for Mino. Back to Eusebio. Great chance to go in front. Boys, I had to step out. Cool. And Back apparently this Mino. man has scored two goals against me. So Eusebio. we're gonna have to sweat our butts off in this game to get back. The comeback is on, boys. This is Eusebio. Loses possession. Benjamin you know what I love, boys? That Mendy just clapped the croquetta. He just clapped a man's croquetta. There are very few things that make me more happy than that. Wow, see, he loses the ball, but his because of his stock, he just wins it right back. He's got support here. Perisic. No way, what a ball. No, he's injury prone. Oh, no, guys. He got injured in the first game that I played with him. Oh, my God. What a save from Allison. All right. Overall, guys, this card is pretty good. I was really, really into the card. We played a game with it. I just needed a game to really figure out, is he good or not? He is very good. Um, never really got into situations where I was able to finish with him, so couldn't test the long shot, shot slash the finishing stat. But overall, I do think he is pretty good. Um, worth the grind this week? Yes, I think so. Best EPL left back? Well, let me put it this way. Defensively, I think he'll be the best EPL left back you can get. I think Alonso will be much better going forward. I think Robertson may be better going forward as well. And you guys can see here the problem with him is he may get hurt every damn game. He just got hurt in the first game that I played with him. Um, he also, I mean, yeah, he got hurt in the first game that I played with him. So that's not always a great look. when they. And I want you guys to know that he does have the injury prone trait. And he got hurt in the first game I played with him. So that is not a great thing to have. You may have to buy some injury cards if you're going to play this card. But... Overall, a very, very good left back. Definitely tested by me, and I do enjoy him, and I think he's good enough for you guys to use. Not clunky, feels good. Um, and so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I wanted you guys to just get this video and to understand. I, I want you guys to get the weekly objectives and know if they're good or not or worth the grind. This one, I think, is worth the grind. He's a very good left back. Defensively, I think he's the best left back in the Prem. So if that's what you're looking for, just a, a tall guy to stop crosses and be able to build out, I think he can do it for you. Guys, thanks for watching my video today. Appreciate it. See you guys soon. Peace.